Tanisha Souza, and today we're going to talk about how to pay off a 30-year mortgage in a fraction of the time, typically about 5 to 12 years. And I'm going to give you some additional tips to make it go even faster. For those of you who are familiar with me and my company, we've been around for almost going on 20 years. And in the very beginning, we were a franchise of a company that taught people how to pay off their mortgages early. We use something called a sweep account strategy, and I'm going to teach you exactly how that works step by step and how you can apply that to your own situation. I'm also going to give you some additional tips that you can use to help you make it go even faster. So the first thing that you need in order to make it work is you need a positive cash flow. And if you're not familiar with what a positive cash flow is, go back and watch my previous video on cash flow. I give you lots of cash flow strategies that you may not have thought or you may have overlooked to improve your cash flow situation. What I talk about in that video as far as cash flow is there are three types, positive, break even, and negative cash flow. Your positive cash flow, if at the end of the month after you've gotten your paychecks and paid all your bills, you have money left over. If you don't have anything left over after you've paid all of your bills, then you are break even. And if you have to dip into savings or credit to cover the bills, your regular, normal, everyday bills, then you're negative cash flow. And you definitely need to go back and watch my previous videos on cash flow strategies. There's also a program I want to highly recommend, which is called Awesome Financial Hacks. And there are literally hundreds of cash flow strategies in that program. And I'll show you how you can get the first six months free in the description box below. So first things first, what you want to do is you need to take that positive cash flow and a revolving line of credit. Now, what type of line of credit? Well, you can use a number of things. You can use a personal line of credit, a professional line, business line, home equity line, even um, some types of life insurance will work to do this. Now, why would you use a line of credit to pay off your mortgage early? Well, a lot of people don't have unlimited savings. And, and if they really wanted to pay off their mortgage and they did have the savings, all they would have to do is take their savings and pay off the mortgage. But again, then the savings goes away. So you may not want to do that even if you do have the savings available. There is a faster way. And by using this line of credit, you're actually accessing dollars that you wouldn't normally have access to. Again, if you have the savings and you want to pay off your debt with it, then go ahead and do it. But if you don't have any savings, then this is a very easy and quick way to make it work. Or if you have that savings earmarked for something else, then you don't need to use your savings to make this system work. So the first thing is the positive cash flow. Now let's say that you have been putting an extra $500 a month into savings and paying an extra $500 a month toward debt. So you actually have a positive cash flow of $1,000, but you've had it spread all over the place. We're going to concentrate in one spot and that's going to be to eliminate the mortgage. Now, instead of taking that extra thousand and just applying it to the mortgage payment every month, if you're very disciplined. That's awesome. And you can do that. And that alone would reduce your cut your mortgage in half in a lot of cases. So if you have a $300,000 mortgage, that would cut it a little more than half just by doing that. But if you're not why it is discipline? You still dis discipline. Sometimes you have an extra thousand. Sometimes you have more. Sometimes you have a little bit less. Then this is a better strategy for you. So the first thing that you want to do is take that line of credit and you're going to apply it to the mortgage. So we're going to use an example of someone with a three hundred thousand dollar mortgage, and the interest rate is four percent, and it's a thirty year mortgage where the payments are over fourteen hundred dollars per month. Now let's say that you have a $7,000 line of credit and hopefully it's an interest only line of credit. That's the best kind to make this work. If you've got a principal payment, you're actually going to be making double principal payments and it doesn't work as well. Okay. So interest only line of credit. Now let's say that you take $7,000 from this line of credit. So 7,000 that you apply directly to the mortgage. Now remember, your monthly payments are over 1400 a month. You're going to continue to make those regular monthly payments every single month. That's not going to change. The only difference is now you're going to take that $7,000 from that line of credit and you're going to apply it to the mortgage. That's going to instantly drop the mortgage balance by several months, moving you ahead on the amortization schedule, and it's going to save you interest, thousands of dollars in interest. To be specific, let me show you exactly how much interest that will save you. If it's a brand new mortgage, that's the best time to start something like this. And what you want to know is that when you do that, 
that very first $7,000 additional payment you make to your mortgage has just taken you one year ahead on the amortization schedule to about August of the next year. If you started today in April of 2021, it would take you to August of 2022 and it would save you over $15,000 in interest payments just that very first time. Now, how do you pay back that 7,000 with that extra thousand dollars a month that you have? So that extra thousand dollars a month would be applied to that line of credit and it would be paid off in about seven months. Now, what size of line of credit should you use? Well, that's gonna vary. If you use a line of credit that's really large, it may take you a really long time to pay it off and you may end up paying a lot more interest on that line of credit. So you really want to be careful about the size of the line of credit you use when using this strategy, okay? But in my example, we're using a small line of credit of just $7,000. So after seven months of payments, in addition to that large $7,000 payment, now you're almost three years ahead of schedule, okay? Because those same payments, even though the payments don't change, now more of every payment is going to principal and less is going to interest. The further along you get on that amortization schedule, the more of principal goes to, into each payment and less interest. The earlier in the mortgage you are, the more goes to interest, the less goes to principal and so on and so forth. So after that seven months of payments where you're actually making your more regular mortgage payments and you have the extra thousand that's going towards paying off that line of credit, you're going to do it again. Another $7,000 lump sum, reducing the balance again, putting you several months ahead of schedule and reducing the interest more and more. So every time you do that, every seven months, you lump another $7,000 onto that mortgage while you're making your regular mortgage payments. And again, the further you go, that same payment, you've got more power going toward the principal and less going to interest. Interest is really just wasted money. It's money that the bank makes, but goes right down the drain. Most people don't know that they actually pay twice, two to three times the cost of the home in interest payments and principal payments over 30 years. You don't wanna do that, there's a faster, easier way. So if you continue to do that, you're actually going to pay off your mortgage a year or two earlier than you would if you just took the $1,000 a month and applied it directly to the mortgage. Now, I'm gonna give you one more secret that you can take to take this to the next level. The next secret is something called bi-weekly. Now, you can actually go to your mortgage company and see if they will allow you to do this. And what that is, is when your regular monthly payment, you're able to split into two payments uh, throughout the year. So every two weeks, you put in half of the payment. Now that might, might even work in your favor to provide you with a little bit more cash flow flexibility instead of having a large payment up front. But you would need to work that out with your mortgage company or your bank to see if they would allow it. If they do, that bi-weekly actually usually slashes your mortgage payment alone by about five years. So now that you've reduced the mortgage by actually 11 or 12 years, now with adding bi-weekly to that, you've cut another four or five years off your mortgage. So in this case, in this specific case, when you only have $1,000 a month extra and you have a $300,000 mortgage, you can actually pay that off in about seven years years combining those two strategies together. Now imagine combining cash flow strategies, mortgage reduction strategies, imagine how quickly you can pay down that mortgage and really start living life to the fullest. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Be sure to share it with your friends and family. And also just comment below. I'm curious to see which mortgage reduction strategies you've used to pay off your mortgage. There's a lot more, but these are some really cool ones that you can apply right now to cut 20 plus years off your mortgage. All right, hope to see you next time on our next video. Bye.